here's the deal. I've got a hangover. Who knows what that means? Doesn't that mean you're drunk? No, it means I was drunk yesterday. Whether you call it a hangover or a wine flu, waking up after a night of drinking can be rough. F off, Martin. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 hangover remedies. Best hangover remedy I know. Five minutes with your feet over your head, followed by a three mile jog, then a quick swim in the ocean. It's better than coffee and aspirin. Want to try? You want coffee and aspirin. For this list, we're looking at the most popular things people do the morning after a night of heavy drinking to relieve their queasy stomachs, pounding headaches, and general sense of ugh. And please remember, this video is for entertainment purposes only. Thanks. Number 10, sleep. Up and at him, let's do this. A night out drinking can significantly impact your sleeping habits, as most people don't get home till early the morning after. My head really hurts, let's just speed this along. While alcohol will cause you to fall asleep almost instantly, it doesn't necessarily guarantee a good night's sleep. In fact, drinking alcohol before bed limits your REM sleep, which is thought to be the most recuperative phase of the sleep cycle. What up? Morning. Sleep deprivation can make you feel much worse in the morning and intensify your hangover symptoms. What am I doing in this bed? Did I sleep here last night? I f***ing nail you? Are you still drunk? If you have the option to stay in bed and sleep the day away, do it. Guaranteed, you'll feel much less irritable, tired, and gross overall. Hi. Oh. Hey. Hey. I'm naked. Number nine, coffee. Mm. For coffee addicts, the side effects of a day without a cup of joe in the morning can almost equal the symptoms of a hangover. Coffee can be a mixed bag, however, and it usually comes down to your personal coffee drinking habits whether or not it will cure a hangover, as caffeine can act as either a cure or a cause of headaches. If you need it in the morning and not having that coffee is going to make you feel even worse, then you should go with it. But remember, coffee also dehydrates you. If you do decide to drink it the morning after, try water with it. Caffeine can cause dehydration, which is the last thing you need when you are hungover. Venti is large. No, Venti is 20. Danny. Yeah, large is large. In fact, tall is large, and grande is Spanish for large. Venti's the only one that doesn't mean large. It's also the only one that's Italian. Congratulations, you're stupid in three languages. Number eight, light exercise. I can see the alcohol coming out. <laughs> Sorry, I was, I know that's not possible. What's the last thing a person wants to do when they're hungover? Besides going to work, most likely exercise. Whoa! Ah! Oh! Okay, I'm totally cool. While we aren't suggesting putting in a full day at the gym, a little light exercise can cause a healthy release of endorphins and help remove harmful toxins from your body. Ideally, you won't have a hangover, but this is the workout to do when you do. It's designed to just sweat it out and make you feel better. Light exercise can take the form of a short jog, gardening, or even a little fun in the bedroom. While there is no proof that says sex helps eliminate a hangover, doesn't hurt to try. Sex should be the last thing on your mind. But whatever you do, stay hydrated. Time out for the game. Enjoy. Number seven, soup. I drink this fucking soup, eat some fucking rice, and eat some seafood, and now I feel amazing. It could be argued that soup is alcohol's antithesis. It provides sodium, water, and other nutrients that alcohol depletes. And since it can be salty, you will likely double down on the H2O, which is an added rehydration bonus. Soup can also help with digestion and settle down your stomach if you're feeling nauseous after a night of heavy drinking. Which is beneficial to people who may find it too difficult on their stomachs to eat a meal. A bowl of chicken noodle soup can go a long way to helping you feel back to normal. Cutting noodles with your spoon and trying to get them in your face without burning your chin. Number six, marijuana. You know, the best thing for a hangover is weed. Do you smoke, do you smoke weed? To start, we want to be clear. We are not promoting drug use. 
What we are saying is we all have that one friend who swears pot is the best cure for a hangover. While marijuana isn't a magical hangover antidote, it can definitely make you more tolerant of the symptoms, including a headache and feelings of nausea. It might also give you the munchies, and eating will likely make you feel better. Get some sour cream and onion chips with some dip, man. Some beef jerky, some peanut butter. Get some haagen ice cream bars, a whole lot of hot. Make sure chocolate, gotta have chocolate, man. For people who have never smoked weed, however, we recommend not trying this remedy, as being high for the first time could make things worse. I'm having a bad trip, we're having a bad trip! I think we are tripping. God, this is great. My side's so much scarier than yours. Oh shit, your trip sucks. Number five, hair of the dog. Almost every doctor would advise against this strategy. Really, the only cure for a hangover Maybe. is to prevent it in the first place. Mm -hmm. Couple pointers, drink in moderation. But there's no question that drinking more alcohol will help lessen the symptoms of your hangover, at first. While your symptoms may be lessening, you are actually making the situation worse because you're forcing your liver to break down even more alcohol. Essentially, you are delaying your hangover, and you're more than likely setting yourself up for a much more brutal one later on. The headache went away, but I still feel sick, and the taste of this beer is the worst thing in the entire world right now. Still, some people are more than willing to take that risk for the satisfaction of instant relief. <laughs> Hair of the dog. And if you are interested in testing this one, a Bloody Mary is a good choice because it's got some vitamins and minerals in there with the booze. What would be so? Hair of the dog that bit me. Bourbon on the rocks. That'll do it. Number four, pills. Jesus, John. You look like shit. <laughs> what do most people do when they have a headache or feel sick? they take pills, specifically painkillers. If you are still functional when you get home from the bar, you can try taking painkillers before you fall asleep and again when you wake up. However, be careful. Tylenol or other acetaminophen products are harsh on your liver, which is already working harder than usual to metabolize all the alcohol you drank the night before. While aspirin-type pills can cause stomach bleeding, if you want something a little more natural, vitamin supplements like B6 and B12 can also help make you feel better. If you do use it because it makes you feel better, just go with a, a couple of them. Don't overdo it. Number three, sports drinks. Yo, Gatorade me, bitch. Dehydration caused by alcohol is essentially what causes your hangover. Thus, it's important to drink as many fluids as possible the following day to help rehydrate your body. Sports drinks like Gatorade are a popular choice because they help replenish your body with electrolytes that it may have lost thanks to the diuretic effect of alcohol. When you're still a little drunk this morning. Stocking your fridge with Gatorade before you go out to the bar may save you a ton of pain in the morning. Gatorade not only quenches your thirst better, it tastes better too, idiot. You're, you're, you're drinking the wrong water. Number two, a greasy breakfast. You need to embrace the fact that your hangover is going to be gone after the first bite. While some people say you should eat a heavy meal before you go out drinking, mainly because fatty foods help slow the absorption of alcohol. Starving. Let's get some f***ing French toast. Sometimes a greasy breakfast is all you need to get back on track the following day, if you can handle the smell. Eggs contain cysteine, an amino acid which is required in the breakdown of alcohol to acetate. Loading up on eggs, toast, and bacon should help calm your stomach down. While research doesn't support greasy food as a cure for a hangover, sometimes satisfying your appetite is all you need to get the day started. However, if you do have a hangover, this big old boy will cure that sh for you, you know what I mean? Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Mamma mia, do you need Alka-Seltzer? Alka-Seltzer can help unstuff you, relieve the acid indigestion, and help make you your old self again. Those guys have no goddamn idea you're going to be there. Right. Yeah, bye. Ready? Make sure he's on the guest list, bud. 
It's a done deal. I already paid him, Mr. Leahy. Good work, Bovandis. Number one, water. I had about four margaritas, six screwdrivers, and I tried to combat that with about three or four bottles of water. If we've said it once on this list, we've said it 10 times. Hydration is key to curing your hangover woes. You've got it on the wrong speed. For those of you who are recovering from a hangover, that's gonna sound just right. One thing you may notice when you start pounding back the drinks is how many times you need to use the bathroom. Alcohol causes dehydration, which is one of the main reasons why you feel so terrible in the morning. With less water in your body, your other organs start to steal it from the brain, causing it to literally shrink, which causes headaches. Ideally, you should drink water throughout the night and have at least a full glass or two of water before going to bed. This will help minimize the symptoms of a hangover in the morning. Keep that water close, however, because if you do wake up feeling awful, it is the best remedy available to kick your hangover to the curb. Don't you know the poem? Water, water everywhere, so let's all have a drink. Do you agree with our list? Um, no, this is good. I, I, I'd like to make a toast. What's your favorite hangover remedy? This sounds like you actually have something to say. Well, well, I do. I do. For more informative top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. This